Beloved, during prayer, we are not only talking to God. During prayer, some things happen to us. During prayer, some things takes place in the realms of the spirit when we are praying. And in this video, I want to show you what happens to you and what takes place in the realms of the spirit when you are praying. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to this channel, a place to build your spiritual life through prayer and the word of God. Now, my main purpose for this video is to show you what really happens in the realms of the spirit around you and to you when you stand in prayer or when you are in the act of praying. Now, we can know this when we study carefully what happened to Christ at the Mount of Transfiguration. And you can see this in the book of Luke chapter 9, verse 28 downwards. Verse 28. And it came to pass about an eight days after these sayings, he took Peter, John, and James and went up into a mountain to pray. So Christ took Peter, John, and James. They went on a mountain to pray. Now, and as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his remnants was white and glistering. Bible says that the fashion of his countenance was altered. That means that the fashion of his countenance was changed. Now, fashion means look, appearance. And the countenance there is his face. So literally, this scripture is telling us that when Jesus was praying, the look of his face was changed. The look of his face was changed. And we have to understand something that our face stands for something. What does our face stand for? Now, when I turn my back to you and you, you, you came here unaware, you will not know it is me. But immediately I turn my face and I stuff and, and I look at you, or you look at my face, you will be able to identify that this is Dennis. Anybody you know, if the person turns his back to you, it's very difficult for you to identify that oh, this is this person. But immediately he turns his face to towards you and you look at the face, you are 100% sure of who the person is. So it means that our face stands for identity. Our face is our identity. So when you go back to the scripture, it's saying that it literally means that when Jesus was praying, the look on his face was changed or the look or his identity was changed so when we stand in prayer when we are praying in the realms of the spirit our identity change we are no longer who we are on earth we are a different person in the realms of the spirit we are one with Christ so when we are praying, we carry the ident a different identity. Now it went on and said, and his remnant was white and glistering. Hallelujah. Now, when we go biblically or scriptural terms, remnant or clothes stands for character, stands for our body. So the Bible says that. His body or his remnant was white and glistering. Now, white stands for purification. White stands for sanctification. And glistering, which means shining. So, Jesus, when he was praying, his identity changed. And also, his body also changed, became white and glistering. So, when you also stand in prayer, know that your identity changes. You are glorified. Your body is glorified. Because I say white. White stands for purification. God purify your body. God purify your soul. So you become glorified. So notice anytime you are praying, let's have this in your conscience. Have this in your mind. Now the second thing that happens 
when we are praying is that there is an angelic visitation anytime you stand and you are praying god sends angels to you the problem is that we 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 we, we don't identify we don't sense them that is why but anytime you stand praying god sends angels to you and you're going to see, see it in verse 30 luke chapter 9 verse 30 and behold there talked with him two men which were moses and elias or elijah who appeared in glory and speak of his disease which he should accomplish at jerusalem now this is an angelic visitation why do i say an angelic visitation is that first who are angels angels are messengers of god angels are people god sent and when you read the scripture carefully moses and elijah they were saints they were sent to deliver a message to him and what was the message uh, to speak of his death which he's supposed to accomplish in jerusalem they came to talk to him anytime angels appear they bring message when angels appear they come to talk with you so elijah and moses brought a message to him when he was praying so anytime you are praying there is a message that comes to you the message can, it is an angelic being that brings the message to you and i want to give you a sign of, of of this you see sometimes when you are praying there is some thoughts that come into your mind there are types of thoughts that come into your mind but this particular thought when it comes you begin to reason with the thoughts it's like you speak back the talk the thoughts also speak back to you it's like there's a discussion between the two of you that's a sign that there's an angel you are speaking to. Because anytime angels come, they come to talk to us. They come with discussions. They come with a, a, a message. You talk, they talk. That's how they are. Anytime angels come, there's a discussion going on. An example is when John the Revelator had an angelic visitation in Revelation. Bible said he bowed. And then he said, don't bow. I'm a brother like you. We can see also that in uh, in Daniel, when he prayed, he was praying for 21 days. When the angel came, the angel began to talk to him. They were discussing. You can see also in Abraham, when the angels descended and they were going to Sodom and Gomorrah, they were discussing. So when you are praying and you could see thoughts and you begin to reason the thoughts, you talk back, the thought came from back. It's a sign that an angel is with you and they are talking to you. Hallelujah. When God speaks, God speaks. God, God speaks is a final speech. I'm going to say that. So that's what happened. The first is that your identity changed. Your body is sanctified and glorified. And you have angelic visitation. Now, before I go to the third one, I will say that, I would like to say that if you have not subscribed to this channel and you want to grow your spiritual life towards Christ, please, Click on the subscription button below. Also, the third thing, which is the final thing that happens when we are praying, is the voice of God. We hear the voice of God. God speaks. And let us read something in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 5. It's the same account, Mount of Transgression, in Luke. But I want us to read Matthew chapter 17, the same account also. It says, While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Hallelujah. When you are praying, God appears also. His presence comes. And one of the signs of the presence of God is that you begin to feel some joy. You begin to see sometimes you feel joy in your heart. Sometimes you feel some brightness around you. You feel some illumination around you. Sometimes you have peace. There's some kind of peace in your heart. It comes with so many signs. Some it comes with tender. It comes with so many signs it comes with. Just be sensitive whilst you are praying. 
and when you when that's that that presence come there's a voice that you hear this voice can be a voice an audible voice a voice in your mind a voice in your heart but that what distinguishes this voice is that this voice carries a command this voice doesn't come to discuss like an angel this boy voice comes with an instruction and it comes with a final say like this like like jesus time he said this is my beloved you can see that it carries a command and it carries an uh, 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 some power in whom i am well pleased hear him final say there's no two there's nothing to discuss about there's no negotiation hear him so when you are praying you said there's some voice that come that finalize every thought in your head that finalize everything that is the voice of god beloved these are the three these are the things that happen when you are praying first your identity is changed your body is purified and glorified your you have angelic visitation and the voice of god watch out for these things anytime you stand in prayer god bless you so much and i pray this message has been a blessing to you please if you have a question send it to me on the uh, description sorry on the comment section and you have a prayer request also i have a link in the description bottom send me your prayer request and i'm going to stand with you in prayer if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel by clicking on subscription button and the notification bell please like this video and share this video to your friends so they will be, they will be a blessing also to them god bless you peace